Why does Mom always have to bug me about studying? <sighs> hmm, that was a beautiful song. Huh? What? My grandma taught me that song. Now, you mind telling me what you're doing here? I'm reading a book. What are you doing here? I'm... well... um... I'm... I just love this hill. With its wonderful old tree. Huh? You mean this crummy old thing? So, this tree's not to your liking? You got that right. I mean, it's all dried out and dead. It doesn't even blossom anymore. Well, it looks like a strong and beautiful tree to me. Are we talking about the same tree? You know, you're really weird, lady. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I've heard that people used to hold festivals here and sing the song I was just singing. Is that the book you were reading? Yes. Shall I read it to you? Um, well... Sure, why not? <laughs> this is an enchanted story about a land, unlike your world, but which really exists. Long ago, in the mists of time, there was a beautiful land of crystal waters and green forests. Long ago, in the mists of time, there was a beautiful land of crystal waters and green forests. In this land lived the O, who would gather around the tree of seven colors, which gave life to all living things. All was at peace, until one day, the black water started raining from the sky, and the evil Donhedron appeared. The tree of seven colors gave birth to Dewey, a little drop of water with enchanted powers to help Dio fight back. After a long and fierce battle, they were finally able to restore the land to its former beauty. Ages passed, and the names Dewey and Don Hedron were starting to fade from memory. Then, one day, the black water once again began raining from the sky, this time even harder than before. Its foul water stained the land black. The tree of seven colors mustered every last ounce of its fading power to call forth the little drop of enchanted water once more.